NVIDIA's freshly launched 4090 is a fantastic GPU, so much so that it's pretty much already out of stock across all outlets or existing stock has an inflated price. And how is NVIDIA responding to this demand? By cutting 4090 production. Great, I guess I'll never be able to find a GPU now. But the story goes, and there does have to be a grain of salt attached, that NVIDIA has actually cut production of the RTX 4090 despite favorable demand in order to bolster production of their Hopper H100 AI GPUs, a move done quite simply because AI compute and enterprise is simply a more profitable market segment than gaming right now. And there's a few reasons for that. For starters, NVIDIA is actually facing a huge spike in demand from China for these AI accelerating GPUs. AI is a massive industry in China and heavily relied on by the Chinese tech giants like Tencent and Alibaba Group. Earlier this year, the US enacted the CHIPS Act, a bill designed to bolster domestic semiconductor production. Part of this bill actually restricts or bans the export of bleeding edge hardware to China by US technology companies and Nvidia is of course included. The passage of this bill has caused the Chinese companies reliant on this tech to scramble to get their final production orders into NVIDIA, who has until September 2023 for their clients to finalize their orders as well as fulfill said orders. By shifting some production lines from the 4090 to the H100 AI, NVIDIA can cut their lead times for orders down by around 50%. While it sucks that NVIDIA is giving gamers or enthusiasts the short end of the stick here, especially if you've been clamoring for a new GPU these past two years, NVIDIA is ultimately a profit-driven company, and good business dictates extracting the most profit as reasonably possible. And if the enterprise is where the money is currently, then logic would indicate that's where NVIDIA would go. Their decision isn't without evidence either. Market research firm Gartner recently released a report that stated consumer demand for PCs and components hit a 20-year low, falling 19.5% year-over-year and falling to levels only previously seen in the early 2000s dot-com recession, a recession brought about by the collapse of major tech companies. History might not repeat, but it certainly does rhyme. This drop in demand for PCs coincides with many other macroeconomic factors that can be felt by the general consumer. Food, energy, bandwidth, shelter, everything's costs are going up, which makes spending on luxury goods like a high-end graphics card or just PC in general a tougher ask when that money could go towards literally putting food on the table. And while large US companies are beginning to pull back as well, especially when it comes to hiring, Chinese companies don't seem to have similar inflation woes as the rest of the world, as China has recorded only 2.5% year-over-year inflation, which is among the lowest globally, so it stands to reason they're more willing to fund capital to expand. Moving on to the actual supply of the 4090 GPUs, NVIDIA had indicated, and we certainly reported on on this channel, there being warehouses full of 40 series GPUs amongst themselves and board partners. If that really was the case, then a couple things might have happened here. The first of which could be NVIDIA embellished how much GPU supply there really was in order to calm nervous investors about there being shortage issues as experienced the last couple of years. And while I have no doubt NVIDIA definitely should coats things to investors, as all companies do, I don't think this is quite the reason. What more likely happened, in my opinion, is somewhere along the line, the demand calculus wasn't quite accurate. It's important to keep in mind that the 4090 and other products in its segment, for example the 3090 and 3090 Ti, are relatively low volume products by comparison to say the 70 or 80 SKUs of Nvidia's GPUs. Nvidia can expect to move a lot more 4080s, for example, than 4090s, and their production lines are going to reflect that. So where I say the demand calculations went wrong is that Nvidia underestimated how much general consumers would want the 4090, and at the same time, on the consumer side, there was an underestimation of people who thought they would want such a high-end card. My argument here is basically that the 4090 is such an upgrade over the previous generation, people didn't quite know they wanted it until they saw it. So while Nvidia might have said, yes, we'll have plenty of GPUs this time around, there's a better chance that it was focused more on the higher volume segments. So hopefully 4090s will restock in the near future, because man, that's a really good card. If you'd like to check out a video on the now cancelled Ada Lovelace Titan, check out our video here, and I'll see you in the next one.